This is a third alarm fire. Uh, they got three lines stretched, three lines in operation. They got water on the fire. I'm trying to... Let me get over there. Five two to command. Jimmy, uh, we got no other trucks out here. Four six four has been up there a long time. So uh, we got the squad coming up. Uh, we got primaries in the attic negative at, at this time. We still got some decent clutter in there, though. And decent clutter all over. Alright, 10 4, did you get that? Squad's coming up to relieve 164. Alright, looks like they got a long, a long stretch over here. Let's stay in the squad, sweetie. 288. Daddy, just stay down there. See if we got enough guys up here right now. 10 4, just about to make my way up. I'll let you know. All right, let's see if there's any bay, any flames left. Morning. All right. Five two to command. Gotcha. Uh, if you can just fill it up to release three thirteen, get fiber alerts going off up here. Just that four. Long walk. Just to clarify, primaries are negative on the first the attic. And uh, they're still ongoing on the second floor. Heavy clutter. 164 OV. 164 OV. Where you at? It looks like all visible fires. I'm right at the rig. Season out battles. There's 164 show for. Where's the roof guy? 164 roof, I'm on the first floor inside the building. I said 48. Oh yeah, that was going pretty good. A lot of bushes and trees in the way, so not gonna be a lot to see, but I'll try to look around for it. Or an angle. They got a slight extension to the house next door. They're opening up.
All right, they're trying to get the uh, extension fire out of the uh, siding of that building, but this was the main fire building, as you can see. All right, so they had extension from the original fire building to this house right here. You saw them knocking down pockets of that fire. Uh, there's some smoldering going on on both sides. So um, uh, they continue to open up. I was told that even though there's a lot of charring on the house, that most of the fire was inside and that it was very, very smoky outside. But there's a lot of charring on the outside of that, so. And this was, I think about 25 minutes away. We tried to get over here as fast as possible, but we didn't. So, I didn't give you all the particulars. This is a third alarm way out here in Queens. They fight, yes. Yeah?
uh, they're continuing to open up. On this house here on the left, and they're inside the other one. Let's see if there's another little angle somewhere else. everybody from the building they're stretching another line they might have something inside here come one two nine all right let me go on the other side because they're doing a lot of uh, stretching over there i don't know if they got something inside i think he said everybody out but i'm not sure charge this line they brought this line here they're gonna charge it now they got some kind of a condition in there that they found necessary to stretch stretch to the, another line might be in the inside Just stretched, I mean, they just charged the line. extension to this house now that's why they stretch that line all right so they stretch that line to spray on this house this lot uh, looks like the siding and everything was, was uh, starting to uh, light up I think that they had three lines stretched in operation when I get here, but I'm not sure. They might have four now. One, five, two. Yeah, we're working on getting it released. Uh, 
something burning on the ground there. I don't know what they pulled out of there. It might look like a e-bike battery, but I'm not sure. All right. One four four command. Command, go ahead. Twelve eight in the first floor. Negative. Ten four. See, these old houses have wood siding on them before people put new siding on them. The old wood siding is what, they're, is what they're knocking down now. And then you have your plastic siding. Looks like you're starting to get extension on the uh, 124. Going up into the attic a little bit, baby. That's four. We're going to take a look right now. Yeah, just be careful on that road, bro. Understood. All right, the chiefs are all on in front of the fire building. They're discussing the strategies and what to do next because they got some kind of a slight condition in there and they're crossing all the T's and dotting all the I's. A lot of wood in this house still and smoldering going on. Where the rack at? There the rack at, rack four. There's gotta be another rack. There you have the command post, field comm is there, and then you have your EMS contingency, you have members all over the place. He just asked for something else, but I didn't catch it on the report. front porch is going to come down but we'll see they're spraying it Okay. 10 floor, right? It said 129 open up here for me. 
seconds there with that condition you spoke of. The intense wall looks like it's starting to put water on it now. Yeah, that's what I got a, a little bit of fire inside the uh, on the second floor. They're putting water on it. I don't know if the porch is gonna come down, but he said it's gonna come down. We'll see. I don't know which porch he was talking about. Maybe there's one in the back. I'm not sure. But they're removing debris from the front there. Uh-oh. 320, control. Command 320, control. Extensive. 320, control. Extensive. Command 10 320, control again. Accidental. I don't know if they're going to put a tower ladder in operation with all the trees and stuff here. But they got members going on to it. Uh, 164, right up there. Um, they're probably going to go up and above. Um, these trees here. All right. I'm going to continue filming just in case. Train on the other side. Looks like some of the uh, porch on the other side came down, a little portion. Let's bring the other house again. This. Be sure all the enemy units operating on the two sides. We're throwing some stuff out of window. The porch is coming down now. Slowly but surely. The porch is coming down. They're they're knocking it down with the with the line. Command one four four. What's four four? You guys still operating on the first floor? Affirmative. All right, that's four. It's just 41 into uh, Olivia. Close your two sector to the command. Yeah, we're all good in exposure to 61 is going to bring the line back out to the street. Uh, we just made the unit for secondary for a while. You need a unit, you said? Yeah, we got you. Were you uh, relieving 152? Yeah, if you don't need any more, you can send them out here. I'll send you somebody for the secondary. That's what, thank you. Alright, let me see what the tower I was gonna be doing. They're up there. I don't think they're gonna open up on this house, but you never know. If they open up with that, they're gonna have to remove everybody from the building. Five seconds command. Go ahead. We're trying to use that explosion too, Allie, to uh, 
throw stuff out the window. Can you keep the guys clear? Yeah, that's four. Let me see what the tower allows you to do there. This is the only clear point right now. Doing some overhauling inside, and the tower ladder is going to start scraping some of that that stuff down. Yeah, there's a lot of hoarding. It looks like that was in there. I think all all, all fires knocked down inside the house. Now it's just smoldering. We're going to be bouncing around and see. Uh, they're releasing some. Uh, they're releasing some of the units already. Right. Everything was open up in the kitchen and the living room in the rear, and everything's completely washed down. Looks like that house was jam-packed with stuff. I'm gonna spray any more onto the uh. Hey, Hodge, just whatever you guys can pull down. Look at that window there. Whatever, just whatever you can reach, pull down, and then you guys are good. That's the tower ladder. They're releasing units, everybody's starting to come out. Can you open the front of that little uh. 
open up whatever they can open up up there they still got smoldering going in on that corner let me see if he's gonna yank any of that porch down They're continuing to do overhaul over here. There goes the bay and went out right out the window. <sighs> A nice little community. Looks like nice quiet houses. They're not too close, but they're not too far from each other. And so, and a lot of them are old. And let me explain to you what I was talking about the wood. Uh, if you look right here, these are all the old wood shingles. And what they do is they want to remodel their houses and decorate them. And then they put in the white siding that you see there. A lot of the times the fire gets in there and in the wood and the siding and this and that and the other, the next thing you know, you have an inferno going on in there. I missed the matches going out the window totally because I was on that side and I would have saw the whole thing, but either way, conditions continue to improve. Companies continue to open up, knocking down small pockets of fire. It's some ungodly hour. It must be 6.30, 7 o'clock in the morning. I have no idea. All right, guys, I came back around over here. Uh, there's definitely hoarding conditions going on in this 
uh, private dwelling. They're dumping out so much stuff, it's not even believable. If you look in the front now. Simple, thank you. When you come out, just sign by the command post. When you have a hoarding conditions like this, it's uh, much harder to fight a fire. Command, uh, ladder 129. Ladder 129. You guys still operate on the second floor, right? Yeah, uh, we got quarter, second floor, front bedroom. We're trying to, uh, we're trying to get to the US secretary. Quarter's the understatement of the year. Look at it, folks. Look at it all. Look at in the uh, balcony right now. Filled with the stuff that came out of the second the floor. Take the guys to the down, right? Where the rack at? I gotta go get a drink at the rack. Let me see what this tower ladder is going to do. It's starting to smolder pretty badly. That means that there's fire still in there. The battalion chief is up there giving instructions. Okay, do you want me to have them bring the second floor line up to the alley container, or do you want to hit it to the alley there? I think they should hit us from the second floor, though. Yeah, they got pockets of fire. Right now, so pockets of fire the in there. And there's something burning on the tree here. It looks like a, an electrical line or something. Alright, hold on. All right, they're hitting that pocket of fire. That's where the water went blowing all over the place. They just hit it. Uh, they're picking up a lot of the lines. They're starting to wind down operations here. But there is smoldering going on. They got to do a lot of opening up and spraying small pockets of fire. I have to get some kind of sleep. But then there's the stomach issue. And that's been happening a lot lately. And no food in the stomach and running to these fires in the middle of the... Uh, wee hours of the morning so we're gonna have to take care of that Command, you copy? Dead four. Uh, can we take a, I'm gonna peek in the back, but there wasn't a lot of fire in the back, as Fine. you can see. Are you in the uh, front room there? Yeah, front four. Mostly in the front. All right, we're gonna shoot something free. Hit the eaves from here. If you guys want to back up. All right, top four. We're back out. 
All right, so you see the back was largely unscathed. The whole back of the fire is almost intact, probably internal damage. And then over here, those wood uh, tiles that I spoke of before, those all went up in, fame, in flames. So from the uh, outside, all of that lit up in flames makes the fire appear a lot worse than what it is even though it was a very very bad fire uh and then like my friend said when he got here my friend lives a block away he said there was largely smoke and all internal fire in the front of the house and that's what it uh we just gotta get one corner Chief. it shows from here. here all right that's what do keep doing what you're doing we'll wait on the line all right, they got three little ladders back here. I call them baby ladders. I know they have their own designation name. And uh, so they, the half of this house is probably completely destroyed and the other house is severely damaged. All right, just wanted to show you guys. All right, just to show you guys, they have still tons of units on scene. They had lines stretched from back there, and they had a stretch from all the way down there. And as you saw coming in, they had a stretch all the way down there, way down there. And when I say way down there, I mean that way when we first came in, way past the rack, all the way down to almost two streets. And look from far away, you can still see all the hoarding material that's in that house. They're still coming out. Let me go in front of the um, power ladder. They just keep dumping stuff. and bigger the porch front porch rather sorry for being repetitive but that's what's going on as you can see all right guys they're starting to wind down totally wind down um, I just wanted to come and show you all what happened here uh, there's not too much action going on there getting one of the lines out of there <clears throat> and you guys can see all the debris look on the side here that's all the side it's so bad they gotta dig out the hose line buried in there They got that part unhinged. Nasty stuff they gotta work in. Unbelievable. Even though we didn't get any heavy fire or nothing, it's just amazing to come and see these situations. Look at those guys back there.
All right, let's get a good look now. I'll zoom in at all the debris. All right, then I'm gonna go over here on the um, other side. And then I'm gonna get out of here. You see the other house went on fire as well? Well, at least the siding did. And look at all the debris that came out of the uh, firehouse over here on this side. Alright, so this house catches fire, it extends into the side of this house, which has also wood tiles and a different kind of siding on the on the underneath of the white siding. So that one has three different kinds of coats on it. It has this, then it has that gray one, and then it has the brown one. So three different sidings on that house. One, two, three, maybe even four. They had a rip down the wall there to get the fire out. Of course, this is the firehouse right here. And there goes that. And then the last one over here. So you have one house fully engulfed and the other two ready to go and the members did a great job at knocking this fire down it may not seem to everyone but it, they surely did they saved two houses because this is all cosmetic on both of those houses none of it got inside and with that said and all the debris all over the place two and two we're going to see you all on the other side.